All right, hey there, everybody. So I'm about to do my first oil change on my TRD Pro 4 Runner. And uh, I got 2,500 kilometers on the uh, odometer there. Uh, so if you're wondering why I'm doing my oil change so early, uh, it's because of the uh, break-in period. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to wait till the 8,000 kilometers that's on the oil change sticker to change my oil. Uh, just because I want to get rid of all the uh, oil or the... Uh, Medley sparkly bits in the oil and also in the filter. Uh, so yeah, I definitely believe in the uh, break-in period oil change, uh, especially when uh, I work at the dealership and, you know, especially at Hyundai where they they always use the uh, plastic cartridge style filters, you know, when you take them out, uh, especially when customers only like, they, sometimes they come in at 8,000, they come in at 10,000 or 16,000, even 16,000 kilometers to, until they do their first oil change. I always find myself uh, cleaning the bottom of those caps of all those sparkly bits. Uh, in the oil filter uh, housing or in the oil filter plastic cap. Uh, so yeah, I definitely believe in the uh, break-in period oil change. So the type of oil I'm going to be using is the uh, Pennzoil Platinum Ultra 0W20. Uh, I got a whole case because it was on sale. Uh, it's going to be uh, good enough for doing an oil change on a 4Runner and also on a Tacoma. Um, and the uh, oil filter I'm going to be using is the uh, OEM uh toyota filter uh so if, a lot of people ask um you know what kind of oil filter is best for your car uh i i usually recommend using the oem stuff because they were the the, the oem stuff is <laughs> made for your car so you know in case there's there's no there's no guess second guessing uh if an aftermarket filter is good for your car just use the oem stuff and uh, especially uh, i get these for five bucks a pop and you get a drain plug washer so definitely uh they're, they're cheaper than a fram filter let's just say that and i'm not going to put a fram filter in my forerunner <laughs> or in my tacoma um but yeah so i'm just gonna loosen the oil cap um gonna have to remove this skid plate i'm uh, surprised there was no access panel for that oil filter and then there's also another plate uh access panel for the <clears throat> drain plug back there so let me go ahead and do that all right so for you who are doing your oil changes on your trd pro 4 runner uh this skid plate is pretty heavy uh there's nothing it hooks onto uh, other than it's just held in by the four four bolts on that skid plate so yeah just be careful now, this thing is pretty heavy and thick But anyways, now I got access to the uh, oil filter that's down here. Take a look. The Tacoma has more ground clearance <laughs> than the stock forerunner. So there's your filter. So I'm going to start taking that off. Some oil in there. Uh, so the oil filter wrench that I use is uh, this blue point. <laughs> And then if you want the part number, it's the same as the Tacoma from Blue Point. And uh, these ones have the notches that will go on the notches on the filter. So you don't, you know, if you're those Mr. Lube places or those quick lube who uses like the filter wrenches and they round off the uh, the filters or they crack the filters with those, uh, you know, shitty filter wrenches. Here's a proper one. <laughs> For you guys who wanted, who have a Forerunner or a Tacoma that has a style of oil filter, so yeah, I'm just gonna grab the little drain valve that's in the oil filter and then uh, stick it in. All right, so for the sake of this, uh, I got a new bucket, and here's the oil filter. I'm just dumping the rest of the oil that's in this cap. I uh, hope this hope this will show up on camera. Um, let me show you how sparkly this oil is. You see those metal particle particles in there? How well you can see that? Right there. Those metal bits. That's all inside that oil filter housing. That's just a bubble. But see all those metal particles? I haven't even took out the filter yet. But you can see how sparkly that is. All in that oil. Gotta get a better camera. I wonder if uh, turning on the light on the camera makes it better. How about that? Yeah, you can see those little bits of metal. And right there. 
in there. And then here's the oil filter. And that's that's what I mean by uh, it's important to do your braking period oil change. Let's see if you can see it in there. Mm, not seeing very much. Oh, there it is. See right there? Right in the bottom there. Let's see if I can find any good piece in here or something. Light on my camera. Yeah, here you go. It's very fine. You can kind of see it right at the bottom. Right there, see? Kind of glittery. Oh, yeah. But you can definitely tell when I poured it out of that filter, you can see little bits. Uh, there should be more at the bottom, if you can see it. I don't know how well that can show. I can see one big piece right there. Yeah. Let me see if I can zoom in. Three times zoom. There you go. Right in that corner. How about over here? Nope. Right there. Yeah. It's like panning for gold. You can see it in there. All there too. So I'm going to spray it out with brake clean. So I took the, uh, the cover off. And it's got two 12 mil bolts. Uh, and hopefully my pan has enough space for it to uh, take all the oil. Oh, I'll pull out. Actually, that looks pretty dark for 2,500 kilometers. You can still see a little bit. You can see through a little bit. But that's 2,500 kilometers. I'll let that drain. Alright, I'm gonna put that new drain plug washer on the drain plug, which is right there. Yeah, there you go. I think the old one fell in the pan. So while that is still trickling away, um, for the time, I'm, uh, I put some grease on these threads, on these bolts. I mean, aluminum doesn't rust, but they do still corrode, especially with two two different metals. So I throw a little bit of grease, and uh, that way they don't seize or you know snap. They, I, I find that they like to snap into the whatever they thread into down there. And uh, yeah, especially when you work at a shop that does mostly Toyotas, and uh, you always find them snapped or they're only held in by like two two bolts. <laughs> So a little bit of grease on those threads, just to, you know, just to prevent them from corroding. All right, so I got the skid plate back on. Uh, start filling it up. I uh, grab my oil. Uh, here's the first jug. Yep. I'm gonna use both hands for this. Well, what if I do this? So this should take this the whole jug in and then a little bit more. Open another jug later. But yeah, it's definitely cold today. So we had like a, a customer that bought a, what is it, a Kia Telluride or whatever. It was a 2021 with 15,000 kilometers, I think uh, three, couple months ago. Came back, check engine light, and uh, the guy who did the used car inspection, because we only have one guy that does all the used car inspection and the uh, PDIs, and I told him, it's like, it probably needs an engine. And then he was like, no way. And uh, sure enough, he bought the car and then it was, uh, it was knocking. <laughs> 
And then uh, I told him a joke. He's like, there's a joke going around at the uh, at our at our dealership. And I was like, and it goes like this. I, I went, knock, knock. And he was like, who's there? And you. And he's like, and you who? He's like, and you need an engine. And you need an engine. And you need an engine. Because it had a two liter NU engine, right? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was funny. half a liter. Yeah, close enough. Start the car up and then uh... Oh yeah, it was in my toolbox. Alright, now I check the level. I think it takes just a little bit over six liters. Let me grab the uh, dipstick. Uh, grab a rag. Needs a little bit more. like halfway on the between the low and the mark or low and the top mark so put like half a quart three and a half yeah I'll check the oil level again Come on, get in the hole. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, it's just not how the how well that shows up. Just below the top mark. Yeah, we're good. All right, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. I uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Uh, please like and subscribe. Yeah, the two oil filter wrenches that I use for Toyota is, are, are these two. Uh, I use this one most of the time because I, I use it on the Tacoma and the 4Runner. Uh, this one I haven't had to use yet. The, this thing's still like clean and brand new. Uh, but if uh, I actually, these are the part numbers if you want it from Bluepoint. I think they're a little bit more expensive, but if you want one, uh, you can get one on Amazon. There are cheaper options. Uh, they basically do the same. I'll probably put a link in the description if you want one. And uh, yeah, so check out in the description.